Now then guys, how you doing? Back on the road again, and today, me and Cameron, we're in that there with me. All right, you've sent us on a bit of a challenge because when I was looking to see what was the best fish and chips, comments were coming in and it was saying between two. It was saying between Magpie Cafe, which I've just done, and the second one is Trenches. So I am on the way to Trenches to see what it's about, see what it's like, and then I'm going to give you my verdict and let you know which is the best Magpie trenches oh there's a bit of distance between them both but distance it's not right good is it you don't need distance when you've got good chips and a nice bit of fish Ooh. right guys so we're here we've trenched us away trenched our way through whitby to find trenches it's just down here so this is the competition so you've got magpie trenches battling it out according to you guys got best fish and chips there's that many fish and chip shops here. It's probably going to be hard to actually say which one is the, is the best. But, you know, where I live, the six to seven inch village, and I've got my favorite. A lot of you guys, this is the, these are the most mentioned ones. So, bush. I hope there's some dog toys here. Look at all this here, come on. Right. I've been calling it trenches, it's trenches. Anyway, let's go inside trenches and put order in, come on. Mate, are you good today? Oh, good, yeah. eh? Weather's took a turn, hasn't it? Yeah, it's a bit nicer than Yeah, so I've come down, mate, to try your fish and chips. So can I order, please, yeah. a cod and chips? Yeah. Uh, can I just get a portion of scampi on its own? Yeah, that's right. Is that alright? And then can I have a, uh, a fish cake in a bread cake, please? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and then a small curry sauce, yeah. small peas, yeah. and a small gravy, please, mate. And then can I have a... Trenches tartar sauce as well, please. Can I get you and a bottle of water, please, mate. Is that everything? That's it, thank you. So I've got cod and chips, scampi on its own, fish cake and a bread one, a small curry, small mushy peas, a small gravy, a tartar sauce and a bottle of water. That's correct, mate, yeah. 27 pounds, right, mate? Thank you. Can I buy a card? Yes, please, mate. Yeah, thank you very much. Right. Can I get a receipt as well, yeah, please, pal? Right. Thank you. It's empty, that's it all. <laughs> I suppose they're busy, busy at restaurant. It only takes a few minutes for the season to come out. Sorry, well, we can sing a song if you want. What do you want to sing? Oh, I do like to be beside the seaside. <laughs> you know, number 98, we'll give you a shout and we'll collect it from this window. Right, nice one. Thank you, mate. Thank you. Right, right come on, let's go uh, see what we're going to set up today. Come on. Oh, here we go, guys. Right, come on. You know what, I'm going to be nice today, I'm going to let you have, have the shelter. I'm going to sit here. <laughs> I've got my own little shelter, look at this, how's that cameraman? Eh? Look at that. Food might get wet, but I'm not. As long as nobody comes bombing down this alleyway, we're all right. So, let's get the table out. Look, there seems to be a little dry patch here. Whoa, what I'm thinking is, I've seen it in these other films where people stand on these kind of things, get dragged down by clowns. Without dragging me down there, we'll get me through it. Right, let's go. So I've got to say, I think I got a bit worried that kid when I said let's start singing. Oh, I do like to do that to see He didn't look right impressed, did he? Bless him. Right, let's get this old knacker cracker away. Whoa. J test. Bosh, there we go. So, we're here. Oh. Oh, I'm telling you. I thought I was going to go through that then. Go through great. A lot of weight on this grate. Uh, this bat leg is on this bit of metal camera, man. And I'm sure it, it put a bit of pressure on. Went down. I'll have Whitby Council on me if I go through this. They were like that. Damages. There, there, there were another uh, over eight, my daughter. She watches that uh, Childish this summer. And, and uh, well, Ramel or Ramesh or whatever, and Jake, Jake or something. And they did something in a car and they were rolling car it road. And they got they got fined thousands, hundreds of thousands for damaging out roads because we're flipping this car. But like me, we will be on me. They'll be like that, Wales caught in bridge. <laughs> right. So, as you know, we've come from the last one. Alright, that were nice and tasty. And I think that was just over 28 quid. So this one's just over 27 quid. So you're saving a pound here to what you are at the other one. So straight away, alright, you're saving a quid. I've got exactly the same, I've got cod and chips, I've got, so let's go through it, so I've got the bun, which is 60p, I've got the cod and chips, 10.95, curry sauce, £1.10, fish cake, £2.50, 
one pound ten foot gravy, one pound ten foot mushy peas, pound foot tartar sauce, seven ninety five foot scamp. I think they've undercooked them by five pence. Right, and a pound foot water. I think water's, water's about fifty p cheaper. So I think you're sort of saving. To be honest, the savings are sort of coming around the uh, the water and the uh, the scampi. That's where I think you're saving. So let's see. Huh? Can't believe weather. Always come to the seaside, don't you? Always come to the seaside in this country. You pack up. You, you get your get your deck chair out. Starts raining. Huh? When anybody else comes, I see it on social media. I spent a day in Whitby. Spent a day in Scarborough, been to Skegness, blistering sunshine. They're running up beach with a dog, kicking footballs, they're eating fish and chips. What am I doing? Sat here, it's wet through. I'm in some corner here. What is this? Macy Brown's. Who's Macy Brown? What's that about? Is it a nightclub? You know, I I'm probably going to get told this is P Corner for Friday night. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, trenches, not trenches. Oh, I do like to be beside the seaside. Oh, I do like to be beside the sea. Dum dum dum, diddly dum, bum bum, bum 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 bum. Oh, I do like to be beside the Oh, we're here, look. Here he is. Oh, thank you very much for that, mate. Well, there's, there's extra salt vinegar and support some actions in there for you as well. Oh, lovely. There for you. Thank you very much, sir. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Enjoy. Right, thank you. Right, guys. First off, same water. <laughs> Water's water, isn't it? So we've got salt and vinegar. We'll get a bit of that out. You see it's extra. Right, so we've got peas, curry, gravy and tartar sauce so the tartar sauce i think there's a little bit more in that one than the one at the other one because it was a smaller seafood clear dish but these these are slightly smaller i have ordered the small ones there you just got them as, as uh, the small regular so they, they did have a bigger pot so their peas and curry and that were a little bit bigger than this bread cake oh Big box, little box, cardboard box, living in a box, <laughs> living in a cardboard box. Right, so let's open these up first. What we got? Whoa, scampi. Look at that extra salt in there as well. They, if I'm honest with you, they, <laughs> they look crispier. They look crispier. Don't they straight away? They look. Crispy. This one. So with this one, they've left the fish cake out of the bread cake. I'll pop the bread cake there. Floured bun yet again. And we've got a big fat fish cake there. That is a fat one. That is a fat one. Let's move this like this. Look at this. Uh, got it in order today, cameraman. Gravy. Curry. So it just looks like a normal chip shop curry. Obviously they've the other place they put a bit of spice in theirs. What have we got here? Boom! Look at that. That's your cod. Cod and chips. You've got a nice big portion of chips there. You've got a big piece of cod. Now straight away, what I noticed what the difference is, this one's a little bit flatter than the other one. The other one were a nice big thick chunky piece of cod all the way through nice thick and chunky so we've got some nice chips here i'm going to get one of these forks out just in case i burn myself with that right tartar sauce oh that is a big portion again it's not their own tartar sauce I don't, is it is it their own i don't know trenches i don't know you're right mate how are you doing good mate thank you right let's get this peas Let's get these peas off my fingers. You alright love, how are you doing? Alright, what's going on here then? I'm just having a taste, I bring my own table and chair. Alright. I 
seen you. Yeah. Uh, well, he, he can see you, but he's got back of your head now, look. Oh, sorry, it's all right. <laughs> I've yeah. seen you on uh, YouTube, Twitter, Facebook. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. So you're trying, what are you trying to do? Crime watch. Crime, well, well, I hope not yeah. crime watch. I've not been caught yet, so we're all right. So you keep face off. <laughs> oh, bless you. I bet you've done. Nicky Nuggets. Uh, but yeah, no, so. Yeah. Is it trenches, though? This is trenches, yep. Yeah. And I've, I've tried magpies already. So, what's your favourite one round here? Uh, favourite one on Twitter? Yeah. Don't go to Peppers, we had a nightmare last night. Did you? That's all I can say. Yeah, um, so I'll be honest with you, so I've been recommended to come to two, so this one and three Magpies. Four, three and three, three didn't we? That, that last night. All right, oh dear. Right. Yeah. Well, I'm going to crack on with this. Enjoy, right. Right. Enjoy the beautiful British weather at the seaside. <laughs> right, guys, let's start off with the scampi. Nice, crispy scampi. All right, let's have a go. All in one, this one. Yeah, that coating. He's on. He's at it again. Come on, Nicky Miscamp is a piece gone. That's got a nice crisp crunch to it. I'm gonna try it in the tartar sauce. There we go. Beautiful taste of the gherkins in there. Creamy. Let's get this one. Break it open. Let's have a look at it. Whoa. Nice bit of scampi juice. Look at that. Nice bit of scampi in there. Dip it in this again. I like that, guys. That's nice, crisp. Full of flavour. There's a bit of salt on there, so it's a nice bit of saltiness. That's bang on. Right, sweat the whistle. I'm loving this. What typical way to eat fish and chips? than in the rain. <laughs> it's a British standard, isn't it? You hit seaside, let's have fish and chips, it's raining. We'll sit outside and eat it. Uh, who's brainwave for it to do this? Right, so, flour bun. I'll be honest with you, it's not as soft as, as the other one. Fish cake. Don't Smells them in. Good mate, I've got fish cake. on YouTube, yeah. I think, am I? You have, yep. Yeah. I've got going. scampi, fish cake, butter, and fish and chips. I'm going to try these. Good. So Lots far, I've tried the scampi. I'm going to see how the rest of it goes, but it looks all right, doesn't it? Nice. Have you been here before? Yeah, we had some here the other night. Yeah, yeah. and what did you it's think? All right. Yeah, it's nice. Right. Yeah, it's all right. All right. All right. All right. Not, yeah. not the best, but all right. Best, mate. Nice, nice to meet you. you. Nice Thank to meet you. you. See you later. Right, so. Oh, hey, up. I'm breaking it down. Flattening it out a little bit. Let's get into this. Oh, another go. So that has got a, a really strong fishy flavour. The problem, I don't know if you can see this, cameraman, but the bread cake is a little, it's, it's a tad dry. Compared to the other I had, it's a tad dry. At the moment, I say it's neck and neck because I prefer their scampi, but I prefer their fish cake butter. So it's going to come down to big and right. Let's let's just go. So, fish and chips, same price. A lot of chips in here. Let's give these a whirl. Smell good. Nice tasting chips. Nice and soft. Let's get a bit of salt and vinegar on these. Condiment them up, so I don't think there's that much on this. Whoosh, there we go. Right, let's try again. There we go. Salt and vinegar makes all the difference, you know. Chips are absolutely gorgeous. Nicely cooked, nice and soft. Got a couple little crispy ones in there. Bang on. Let's get to the fish. So we've got Right, let's go for it. Let's, let's snap this in half. Bush. There you go. We've got a chunky bit there, look. But the rest of it, it's like the tail end of the fish. Flip it over. There you are. Oops, sorry, love. Oh, we're, block, we're blocking path here again, cameraman. So we'll get into this bit, we'll try this. It 
It's a nice flavour. The fish is cooked well. You've got nice little bits of batter there. Go on, love you, darling. Sorry. Let's see what it's like with the bits and bobs on. So we've got peas. See how the peas are? Oh, look. They tip out a bit easier. We'll have a go. Nice. Beautiful mushy peas. You can't have fish and chips without mushy peas. Brian's got a bit of curry now. Let's go with the curry. This is a thick curry. <laughs> this is coming out nice and thick, that one. Again, curry's at the other place. A bit thicker. But we'll do a chips and curry with this one. That's a nice chip shop curry. What I like about it, it's got a nice thickness to it. Got a nice bite towards the end. Here we go. Right. Come on, chips are coming out. Oh my. Look at that. Now that's the gravy for you. Nice thick gravy. Oh, oh, oh. Decent gravy. Let's get it on this fish. Ooh. Look at that. I know what you're all saying. Danny, you're ruining it. How can you put gravy on fish? I am telling you. It is the future. When I can get some on my fork. Nice bit of onion gravy there. It's all right. Right, let's wet the whistle and then I'm going to dip my bread cake into them like I did and then we'll go through it. And then I'll give my verdict. So, let's have a bit of a dip. Dip in there, dip in there. Nice bit of flavour there. Right guys, so this one, I think it costs a quid less. We started off with a scampi. Now with a scampi, to be honest, I can't fault that scampi. That is how I love my scampi to be. Nice little pieces. Nice, he's at it again, look. Nice and crispy, I think the cameraman agrees. The scampi, they've done well with that. Nice and crisp, beautiful flavour. Tastes great. Dip them in the tartar sauce, lovely. The fish cake in a bread cake. Fish cake in a bread cake. The fish cake got a nice flavour to it. It's all made, you can taste it, you know, it's, it's got a really, really strong fishy taste. It's not overpowered by other things in there. You can actually taste the fish. It's, it's got a crisp coating, but the bread cake, for me, these ones are just a little bit too dry. And from what I've experienced from others, it just sort of, if, if the bread cake were more moist, it would have been more, more enjoyable. All right, fish and chips moved on to the chips. The chips, absolutely gorgeous. Nice chips. Nice portion of chips as well. Beautiful flavour to them. The fish, it was chunky in parts. All right, nice piece of fish. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say that it's not. It's a nice piece of fish. It's cooked well. You've got nice crispy batter on there. All right, and uh, yeah. It, it were a nice fish and chips. The peas, the peas, absolutely beautiful. The curry, it's a nice curry, it's got a nice thickness to it, nice bit of a kick. The gravy, really, really nice thick gravy with a bit of onion in there. So with the sauces on, mix it on together, bang on. Nice piece of fish, nice chips. All right, so, I'm gonna give you my score first, and then I'm gonna tell you why. So if you've been here, let me know what you think. If you've not been, come down, try it out. I'm gonna give this, a nice, solid 9.5, all right? I think, if you're asking me which for my personal preference between Trenchers and the Magpie Cafe, I would go for Magpie, all right, for the simple reason of this. So the scampi, both scampis were good. The, this scampi sort of pipped it because it was a little bit crispier. The fish cake, that magpie were absolutely delicious, right? I could not get enough of it. The bread cake were nice and soft. You didn't need no sauce with it, to be honest. You just add it as it was, and it was gorgeous. With this, you do need a bit of a dip with it because it's a bit dry. Although this has got a nice fishy taste to it, the other one, for my taste, beautiful. The sauce is bang on. The curry, the magpie, I preferred that. I thought that was great. And I also like the gravy there as well. That was a nice gravy. But when it come down to it, 
the reason why I've knocked the, 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 the half score off really is for the fish because I think although it were a nice piece of fish cooked well with crispy batter the other one it were more golden and it was thicker it didn't it didn't look a big piece like this but I but this is the tail but with that one more or less 80 percent of it you got big flakes of white cod and that was just delicious so for me guys nice 9.5 but the winner, if I'm going to judge it between the two, is going to be Magpie. I'm going to crack on. I'm going to have a few tips and a bit of scampi. I'll see you next time. Where to next?